Hello friends, today I am going to show you the books which is very necessary to you because if you all are engineers and uh, doing a laptops or desktop motherboard or the Apple motherboard, you must need these two books and I am going to show you what is there in these books and how these books are very important for you. So I am going to show you the first book. So this is my first book. This is book is dedicated for desktop motherboard and the Windows laptop. So there are three sections in this book. The first section is called the electronics, the basic electronics like what is the register, what is the MOSFET, what is the crystal, what is the transistor, what is the diode, everything is there which is in very colorful way and their symbols and to use and how to test. So that is the first section in this book. The second section is called the desktop section where the desktop section there are the three parts if the desktop is dead how to do I'll show you how the book is this book is basically on the A4 side and this is a total color book full book so it's very interesting so if you read this book so you are, if you are engineers you will enjoy to read this books and definitely once you have this book you will become a very good engineers and you will earn money on repairing the laptops and the desktop motherboard so the first section which I told you this is the call the electronic section there's a different component like crystal, coil, diode, transistor, then the MOSFET so all things are there in this book okay so this information is giving is very short and easy to understand so it's called the cutting edge technology which means only I provide those information which is very necessary the first section is called the desktop section. In this desktop section, there's a sequence are given like this. When we connect the SMPS to the motherboard, which are the components are involved, what are their signal name, how they are communication, what are their numbers. So everything is there on this book. And not only that, but also the signal name and description also given on this book. So the signal name is there and the description is there. So you are to just follow the signal. You are to check all the signal step by steps and you will reach to the solution. So that is that I assure you the guarantee. Okay. And this part is again very important part. It's called the flow charts. Okay. This is called the flow chart. Flow chart means what? If it is a desktop motherboard is a dead, then you have to follow this signal. If this signal is coming, then you have to go down. If not coming, then you have to go down. Then you have to go down, down, down like that. So this is called the flow chart. So there are so many flow chart given in this book, like for the dead, for power on and off, no display. All the flow chart are there in this book. And this, that is also in very colorful way. You will enjoy to read this book. So this section for the dead section, the next section, these are the like uh, architectures, their connectivity, then CPU, how the CPU is, how to identify, uh, what is LGA, PGA, BGA, uh, then what is the CPU sockets, these are the CPU socket, how to identify the motherboard CPU socket and from their uh, generations, what is the generation name, what is the difference between i3, i5, i7 and the next is there are different different section on the motherboard like RAM section, the RAM power section, then VTT section and the CPU core section, how the core voltage is generated, how to test what, what we have to do if the core voltage is not coming. Uh, then there is a sequence like once we give the power to the desktop and what are the signal coming one after another, their numbers are given, their descriptions are given from core to do through i3 series, all the sequence are mentioned in this uh, book like different different uh, generation like this is for the second generation then the fourth generation like that so see and these are the test point like uh, this is the, called the PCI Express slot and uh, there uh, the signals are there and those signal you can check and the signal description are mentioned here so you can check all the signal if it is a no display or and this is a PCI slot the same the signals are there we given here how to use a debug card and what are the test point if the fan spin and stop then what to do what are the signal we have to check these are given then the next section is called our no display section so this is called the no displacing section and the sequence are given here in this book the next is no display flow charts definitely so you can get this flow chart and from this side 
the laptop section start the power ladders the power sequence battery charging section if the battery is not charging or if the laptop is not working on the adapter or not working on the battery battery not detecting all such a problems are mentioned in this book the sequence are there their functions are given very simple and very graphical way so the next section is called 3 volt and 5 volt section so in laptop there are so many types of 3 volt and 5 volt section so in this book we provide all the 3 volt and 5 volt section like this is one typical 3 volt and 5 volt section their signal name their sequence then the, here is another types of 3 volt and 5 volt section here is another type of 3 volt and 5 volt section is called a single chip buck converter the single chip is there for the latest generation laptop so that is also mentioned in this book then this is called the power on signal means when the sio got the power then what are the signals are generated once we press the power button what are the signals are generated that is also mentioned in this book the description is again there and then this page is a very interesting page and this page the all sequence like a section b section c section means a section means the battery charging section b section means the 3 volt and 5 volt section and the c section means the power on section and their signal rhythms means the one signal coming after another and their numbers are there so you have to follow all the numbers like if it is a you can make a xerox of this page and put it on your uh, desk and uh, whenever the laptop is dead then just simply follow all the steps 100 percent assure you you will reach to the result so that is damn sure about this and there are different types of uh, laptop motherboard their sequence are little little different like quanta compel vistron foxconn the different sequence are there there are different generations are there so that is also the mentions are in this book their flow chart if it is a laptop is there the flow chart is there the connectivity is there of different buck converter how the buck converter works their connectivity and new, the new generation like the new generation laptops are coming nowadays there's a no pch only cpu is there and that cpu is called soc that is system on chip and this soc systems and their rhythm their sequence are there in this book so you can available the latest types of uh, laptops also new generation laptops ram section cpu core section how the cpu core section work how to identify the motherboards then compel quanta vistron sequence then the new generations like the new generations compel quanta vistron like this ram section how the ddr1 what is the difference between ddr1 ddr2 ddr3 ddr4 all these things are given in this books what is the sio how to identify sio is a faulty which are the important signal to come to the sio what are the test point of the sio what is a programmable sio what is a non programmable sio all things are there what is the bias how we identify the sio is faulty which are the signal we have to check before to replace the sio that also things given this because most of the engineer don't know when to change the sio and in this book the all the important signals are there means you have to check this signal this signal this signal if all these signals are coming but still their power out signal or the rsmrst is not coming then you have to replace the sio so that is also mentioned in this book the bias section is there how the bias work what are the eight pin bias what are the pin numbers how to identify the bias their size is there then the what is the emi region bias how the emi region bias work what if, what will happen if the emi region bias is corrupt how to clean the emi region bias so that is also mentioned in this book then this architectures there are different different computer architecture like a core studio architecture then i3 architecture pch everything is there mention in this book so you can see all the information is very colorful and so there is a no readable part means you no need to read so many content everything is like a graphical everything is like a pictures everything is like a colored and important thing is the numbers are given signal name signal description how what will happen if this signal is not coming who sending this signal so all things are there in this book this is called this section is called the no display if your laptop it's not giving the display then what to do 
what are the signal you have to check so that information is there in this page then reset signal again here is a no display flow chart so you can follow the flow chart informations new generation flow chart new generation new uh, the laptops dc power supply the current situation uh, when we connect the power laptop to the dc power supply how much the current will come what will happen if current is coming that or that generation wise so that chart is there in this book lcd section is there dim display no display that lcd type like 40 pin connector 30 pin connectors that is their dim display flow chart white display flow chart is there then the peripheral section means the wi-fi sections the hard disk section and fan section rt section lead sensor so all the sections are covered in this book usb type c then the beeps code then led blink codes and uh, common problems and their solution uh, some link sites so all this information there in this book so you can refer these books and become a good laptop engineer plus for you we have another book if you are doing an apple laptop then i have one books for you this is books for the apple laptops L like we are seen in this uh, uh, windows laptop so this book is for the apple laptop dedicated to the macbook air and macbook pro till 2020 so all the information like the related to the apple so you can go through this book like what is a g3h g3h voltage what is a pp bus what is pp3v342 what is the smc how the smc work and how what is the buck converters uh, how to diagnose the smc is bad which are the important signal then uh, uh, what is the battery charging section how it's work how it's the communications then if the battery not charging to what to do then this power sequence for up to third generation then there if the laptop is dead then which are the signal you have to check by sequence from top to bottom then new generation laptop uh, the power sequence is there in this book plus so uh, if the pch not shoot the slp3 slp4 means if the, it's not turning on then which are the signal you have to check from top to bottom so like that is given this book dead laptops power sequence is there then 3 volt 5 volt section ram power pch power then cpu core voltage the what is the cpu cpu architecture the vrm sections then if the core voltage is not coming then sequence is given this book vrm chip how it's working what are the important test point of this uh, pin that is also there the current sensing is there then the new things are coming that is called a type c laptops in apple there is the type c laptops are coming there power sequence there is called the power delivery because in uh, uh, type c the power is on the both the side so in this book they given the power the pin out plus the power delivery how the power delivery work how the power flows and it's called a nv this is called the buck boost converter how the buck boost converter work so it's not like in normal laptops so uh, this apple laptop work on a different way so bug boost converter then this is a type c controller how the type c controller work so their number their sequence their methods and their flow charts t2 the latest the apple is called the t2 t2 is a security chips so the t2 systems are there the requirement of voltages their rhythm their test point their test signal everything is there so just simply follow the numbers so you can able to trust the problems okay so no display dim display white display all the things are mentioned there are different ports are there it's called the lpc port spi ports xdp ports these are the extended debug uh, these are the different different debug ports then the what is the thunderbolt how it's work then what are the power requirement for the thunderbolt what is the bias what is the sam connectors is there lcd section dim display white display then types of os types of different types of operating system then cpu resistance how much the resistance should come across the cpu so all the information then the board viewer how to use a board viewer how to and then the imac section is also there in this book so there are all topics are, are covered for IMAX 
macbook pro and macbook air laptop so engineers you can use this two important books these are the handbooks for your repair work so you can available this book by contact us the numbers are given below you can contact us and use these books and become a good engineer so all the best thank you very much